Hello, everybody. Welcome to Man with a Green Screen. Uh, talks about his special interests. Retro gaming. Retro gaming, anyway? Any, any retro gamers? <laughs> Y'all ever illegally play games? <laughs> I, I feel like everyone just plays the same ROMs. Am, <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> Probably. You ever get an N64 uh, emulator? And then you're like, ooh, I I can't wait to play Mario 64 for the 50th time. Fuck you. There's surface level emulation. Let me just let's just start with that. There's there's N64, there's SNES, and there's GBA. I feel like those are the big ones. Those are the one or, and GameCube. GameCube's there. GameCube's there. But I feel like when people are talking about retro games, those are the the head honchos. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put respect where respect is due. I'm 25, going on 26. And uh, I did not grow up with those games. I remember playing Mario 64 strictly in the main hub world. I did not know how to play the game. My brain was underdeveloped and I could not process what was going on. To get into the nitty, n n n the nitty gritty, uh, Nintendo DS. I have a lot of nostalgia for the Nintendo DS. It'll be my like childhood peak of gaming. And probably for a lot of people, I would say. I think that the DS came out in 2004, but the Nintendo DS, when it came out, like everyone had it. Like it was, it was the Wii, the Wii, the DS, like those were, everybody had them. It was a time to be alive. It was a lot of fun. But unfortunately, with retro games, I feel like the Nintendo DS gets overlooked a lot. Like, and it's, and it's old. It, the, the DS is old. The DS can drive. So, buckle up, buddy. So, if you want to you wanna be like me, you want to emulate a perfect DS and 3DS experience on your computer, I'm going to talk about it. And I'm not going to explain in very great detail. When you're emulating the DS, you need to have flexibility. And that's what my build today does. I'm a genius. So I link on the bottom. First, you download the emulators. I use Des, Des Mumi. Don't know if that's how you say it. And I also have Citra, which is a 3DS emulator. Um, this is not even a tutorial. I just wanted to kind of just talk about uh, playing DS on my computer and being like, hey guys, look, this is, <laughs> this is how it looks. I just want to talk because I'm so fucking bored. You have your emulator downloaded. Congratulations. You're on your way to playing DS games. And you know, you source your you source your games however you see fit, and then you get to playing. And finally, you have your games on screen. Perfect. What's this? Yuck. Yuck. Black bars. This is gross, and this is gross. You see these you see the you see these bars? We don't want that. That looks stupid. That looks dumb. That is unimmersive. So what do you do? You take your monitor or your laptop and you turn it uh, ver 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 vertical. You, you move your monitor or laptop vertical. It, it, I don't care if your laptop looks like a folder and your monitor is going to break. If you want to play DS correctly, you're going to do it this way. The, the vertical orientation, key. It, honestly, probably the most important way to emulate DS. If you want to use the touchscreen on the DS, you use your mouse. That's like, which is, which makes sense. Like it's fine. And it, it's more accurate. Actually, I would, I would say it's more accurate. I think it is more accurate. I know it's more accurate. It's not, you know, the DS, you know, you use a pen. It's, it's fun to use. It's fun to emulate you only get experience of the DS. Uh, so how do you do this? A Wacom tablet. And I know all you fucking oh so f oh so freaks got one of these. I know you guys got these. I know there's abundance of these in the market. I think this is perfect. I'm going to be honest. I, I've tried playing on my monitor, my drawing monitor, and it sucked. It blew balls. Um, and this has, been per this has been really fun. It's small. It's compact. It's portable. Even though I'm going to use it here. I love using this thing to play like a WarioWare, a Cooking Mama game. Boom! Playing Cooking Mama with your mouse, you're playing like the Legend of Zelda, Spare Tracks, or Phantom Hourglass with a mouse is cheating. You can do whatever you want. But I think it's more fun to play like that. So I would just recommend it. And if you buy one, you can learn how to draw on the computer. I don't know. 
Or you can play a Hosu. <laughs> I don't know. I will also drop my my settings for my Wacom over. Boom, right there. Those are my settings. I don't know if you're gonna follow this as a tutorial. I wouldn't recommend it, but if someone does, that's the settings if you wanna use those. Um, I've, I've been enjoying them. And then you need a controller. Uh, and the controller is probably not that important for the DS. So you can probably use you could probably use any controller. I, I, I have this one, this little one. You know, you can use one of these. Remember me? But yeah, you can, any controller will do for the DS to uh, map it. Uh, the DS has no other functionality except for touch and controls. And then obviously you'll need a mic um, or you can use a key. You can use a hotkey if you want. Uh, but if you want to set up your mic, you can obviously set up your mic. Uh, the final and most important thing is if you want to play 3DS games is you need a way to emulate gyro. And for those of you who do not know, gyro is, uh, I can't find, I can't find the definition, but, uh, in the context of Call of Duty Mobile, the gyroscope refers to a feature that allows players to control their in-game movements by physically moving their device, which is a pretty good definition, I would say. And most, I, as far as I know, a lot of controllers don't have gyro. Who would have known? The PS5 controller. Maybe some of you guys saw this coming. I didn't. I didn't know this had gyro. Uh, it has gyro. It also has a speaker. Hello. It also has touch, like touch here. But I don't use that for a DS, so I don't know how that works. Uh, but yeah, this 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 thing is super accurate for what I mean. It's a sixty dollar. It's like a seventy or sixty dollar controller. Uh, but this thing's awesome. You can like perfectly emulate gyroscop gyroscopic gameplay uh, with it. I was playing a Metroid game and I was controlling the crosshair with like moving the gyroscope. It was really fun. But all of this in culmination, I, be I, I know, I know it makes it fun. At least for me. I think I'm just gonna yap the rest of this video so the reason why i got back into emulating ds was because there's so many games that i wasn't able to play uh and now i can so it's like mostly like the games where you would see like a commercial for the untold chapter of the kingdom hearts saga is here i, I wish i could play that too bad i don't have a job and and now i don't even have to have a job and I can play them, which is awesome. The, the main purpose of me playing DS on my computer is if I wanted to stream it or like record it and not have to buy an entire like DS like capture card. I have my screen set up how I want and then I can have like on my on my OBS, I can have it like big screen or small screen or or perfectly symmetrical screen. You know what I mean? That's 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 the main this may draw. It's crazy how like many full DS games there are. There's just like like games. Like and you know. Games are games, but games. Uh if anyone wants some DS recommendations. Uh Castlevania Dawn of Star Rose. Cooking Mama 1, 2, and 3 in no particular order. Final Fantasy Tactics A2. It's good. It's good. Canvas Curse. That uses the pen a lot. As you could tell from the title, Canvas. Use a pen on Canvas. A lot of Kirby games. That like, There's like four Kirby games I have. I love it. Rhythm Heaven. Professor Layton. I will do my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Well, here's my guess. Mega Man. What do I have on 3DS that I would recommend? Cooking Mama. Fire Emblem.
you know, the more I talk, the more I realize how many heaters are on the DS. The DS has like so many fucking just first party heaters. Um, what else? I don't know. This video probably sucked ass, but if you got to that, thanks. All right, thanks guys. Uh, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like.